kiddos. I'm going to try and do our very first video lesson. So I'm kind of learning how this goes. Um, I have to set up a mirror and my camera and things because otherwise I write backwards for you guys. So hopefully this works and we'll see how it goes. I want to give you your first strategy for multiplying multi-digit numbers. Okay, so we started off the other day by doing tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so you might have got an example like this. Four times 100 equals. Okay, and you learned a little trick in the video where you can just look at how many zeros there are, write down those zeros, and then use these two numbers. Four times one equals four. Therefore, my answer must be 400. Okay, that's a super easy way to do it. You can do that no matter what your hundreds or tens is. Maybe you got eight times 300 equals. Again, I see two zeros, so I'm gonna write down two zeros. Then I look at this number and this number, and I'm going to multiply them together. Okay, eight times three, I know my skip counting, 8, 16, 24, so I write down 24. So my answer must be 2400. Okay, so we were getting pretty good at that. If you're still struggling with this, you need to work on some of these, okay? Make up some questions, go back and redo questions, get your parents to make you a couple. Let me know, I can send you something, okay? Today, we're moving on to a question that would look more like this. Four times 24 equals. Now this one's not quite as easy, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can break this up and make it a whole lot easier, okay? And it has to go with going back to what we call expanded form. Okay, and we have done expanded form before. Okay, if I do expanded form of the number 24, it looks like this, 20 plus four. Okay, do you remember that? That's what we want to use. Okay, because now what we can do is we can take this 20 plus four and we can multiply both sides by four because up here we have a four. So multiply by four, multiply by four, and add them together. All right, so let's start on the easy one because these are single digit numbers. We know this, this is the same as we've been doing all the time. Four times four, skip count. Four, eight, 12, 16. So you know that four times four equals 16. Now, going back to yesterday's lesson or the day before, we know that four times 20, I look at the zeros, I write down the zero, and then I multiply these two numbers together. Four times two equals eight. Now I just have to add 80 plus 16. Now for some of you, you might wanna stack those numbers. 80 plus 16, equals zero plus six is six. Eight plus one is nine. Four times 24 equals 96. Easy peasy, okay? So that's how we can multiply bigger multi-digit numbers. Break it up using expanded form. Okay, we're gonna do another one so that we can practice it. Okay, and if you have a piece of paper, I'd like you to try this along with me, okay? Practice it at home. If you've got a whiteboard, even better. All right, so let's erase this one. Let's do a little bit higher. Let's go six times 32 equals, okay? The first thing we do is we do expanded form. So I'm just gonna use EF, expanded form. Now we don't have to use expanded form for six because it's as small as it can be. Okay, but for 32, 
My expanded form would be how many tens? This three actually represents a 30. And look at my ones, it actually represents a two. So 30 plus two. The second thing we do is we multiply both sides. So I go back and look at what was my other number that I'm multiplying. So I need to do 30 times six. Oops, that's probably not quite big enough for you guys to see. I'll make it better. 30 times six. And I need to do two times six. You have to remember you multiply both sides, guys. Both sides, okay? And this plus comes down in between. So again, let's start over here. Two times six. Again, I can just skip count. Six, 12. Easy peasy. 30 times six, a little bit harder. But still, I look at my zeros. There's only one zero. So I place it down here. And then I look at my other two numbers. Three times six. Six, 12, 18. It's 18. 180 plus 12. Now I get to add them together. Zero plus two is two. Eight plus one is nine. One plus nothing is one. Our answer is 192. Easy, guys. See how easy that can be? So this time I'm gonna go one more example and I'm gonna go slow and I want you guys to try it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. Ready? Let's try it together. Here's our new question. Uh, seven times 43 equals. So what do you do first? First up, you do expanded form. Okay, so take this number and go to expanded form. Go ahead and give that a try. All right, so you should have got 40 plus three. Did you get that? Awesome. All right, second step, what do we do? We multiply both sides. So I go back and I look, what number am I multiplying by? So I need to do seven times 40 plus seven times three because I look up here and I have a seven there. So now you can choose which side you wanna start with, it doesn't matter. Seven times 40, I look at my zero. I only have one, so I write it down. Seven times four, think skip counting, which one do you like better? Maybe you're better at four, so let's count by fours seven times. What do you get? Go ahead and write it down if you've got it. All right, let's skip count together by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 30. Just kidding, that's not right, is it? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Miss Murphy messed up, but that's okay. I fixed it, 28 and one zero plus Seven times three. Okay, seven. What comes next? Fourteen. And then twenty-one. Awesome. So now I have two hundred eighty plus twenty-one. Add them together. It's helpful to stack those numbers. Zero plus one equals. One, eight plus two equals 10. 
So I write down the zero and I carry the one. One plus two equals three. My answer is 301. Awesome, guys, you did three great examples. Now I'm gonna put up another video uh, linked with this to sh kind of show you how that works, but keep practicing this. I'm gonna give you some practice worksheet and give it a try, okay? Watch this video five times if you have to, that's okay. Do these questions five times if you have to, that's okay. Just do your best, all right, guys? Awesome, thanks for tuning in for our first online math class. We'll talk to you guys later, bye.